What's going on guys, Pack Daddy here with the fifth episode of the Puck Drop. The last episode, a couple big things happened. One, we won the Division 9 title, we absolutely killed that Division 2. We added a thing called the Point Bank. We get to select the point value of a pack that we get as a reward. So if we get a Gold Plus pack, we can say, I'm not going to open that Gold Plus pack, I'm going to take those 700 points, we're going to put them aside. Whenever I reach a point value of whatever the middle special pack is, so right now in the Evolution packs, it is a 1,000 point pack. So if I ever get over 1,000 points and we get to open up one of those middle packs. At the end of the last episode, we also won our game three zip, so it's time to get to some rewards. Hopefully we can get some of those high value point packs to gold plus, just like that. So all right, not a bad first one, but that does clear the board. We have two pucks left to drop. We're gonna drop the same puck, cause that's a lucky one. Can we go right back to the middle? Ooh, quite the opposite. So he's right there. This is the last pack before we get into opening up these packs and seeing what else waits in store for us. And that is a basic silver pack. So you guys know what I want to do. We already have 700 points. We're going to go ahead and store that one. So the next time we do rewards, we only need 300 more points before we can open up that middle evolution pack worth a thousand points. But for right now, we got this silver common pack, a bronze plus pack. And as you guys have seen from pack openings, we can get some good stuff in there. So since the last episode we've sold everything we've done our daily logins we've got 46,000 coins and I said last time what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a Patrick line as soon as I got the coins and I'm happy to say I got enough for that but first we're gonna check the monthly rewards so we already did the tier 1 rewards and I have to have 15 collectibles before I can do this next one let's see how many we have we're gonna autofill the rest of these suckers and oh my gosh all right we got 16 so we can open up this one as well that's another silver pack in addition to the rewards we already get first things first let's get the daily login pack out of the way it is a silver pack 15 items there's a whole lot of awesome prime time players out right now people have been killing it phil kessel uh patrice bergeron austin matthews all these guys john tavares i think he has one out can we get something great in this initial pack we can't but still we're selling off everything we get in these packs and our coin balance is going through the roof Right, so I forgot that I had a bunch of stuff sitting in my inbox as far as gold rare players. I think Duncan Keith was sitting in there, Josh Bailey, Kyle Turris, Miku Koivu was also in there. There's a couple players that were in there, all gold rare players. Then I sold everything I had that was sitting in my collection that I meant to do before this episode started. But right now we're up to 54,000. There's a couple more gold rares I hope can sell. Because then what we can do is we can pick up the other suggestion that you guys let me know about. Patrick Line is the first one. He's probably going to go for around 30, 35,000 coins. And then Shane Goss to spare you guys in the comment section. We're blowing up that suggestion. Pick up the ghost. He's a freak on D. I asked for you guys to give me suggestions on defense. And that's a huge one. I'm really hoping I can get it. We just kind of hope these things sell. Right, so we're going to start this off with, ooh, should we do the, we're going to start off with a bronze plus pack. And then we're going to do the other silver pack. The two prizes that we got because we banked the 700 points that we got from the gold plus pack we're gonna hope for anything in this one oh nothing much so when i was selling those things on the auction house just now i got to 66 thousand coins i think that's going to be good enough to get us a shane goss spare and a patrick line that's 284s those are huge pickups for the team but we still have one more pack to pick up it's the silver pack let's crack this puppy open right now we're skipping the animation get through it so we can build our team get to the game anything in here i thought that was a gold player for a second that really pump faked me. Is there anything in the back of this pack? A bronze collectible is not bad, but nothing too great. But hopefully we can get some pack with 300 points before the next game so we can open up one of those evolution packs. That would be choice. All right, so when looking at the auction house, this Patrick lining for just under 33,000 coins is going to be a nice pick-me-up. I still use this guy on my main account team, and that team is full of... You know, completed legends, it's full of evolution, players like Taylor Hall and Evgeny Kuznetsov and Patrick Laine still snipes it like the best. So 33,000 coins, that's a nice pickup and that leaves us still with 34,000 coins. Pretty much everything we put up on the auction house sells, especially when I do this series, I kind of like to undercut everybody, not substantially, but pretty much so that somebody who's looking at that card can't not buy it right then and there. So I get those coins immediately so we can make these episodes exciting and progress even quicker each episode. And that's a fun pickup. Patrick Line is a beast, but it's not as exciting for me as picking up this guy right here, Shane Goss to spare. 30,000 coins. This guy is an animal. I really need some improvements on my defensive line, on the blue line, and Shane Goss to spare is an animal. I hate it when we play against him. I hate it when Philly plays against us because they have a nasty decor, but Shane Goss to spare is going to be playing for the good guys this round. So we're about to start Division 8, but before we do that, we have some roster updates you guys need to know about. Starting line, we got Patrick Line, a new addition to the team. We got a couple guys who came in and out. As you'll notice, Alex Debrinkit is no longer on the team. 
I think it was our first suggestion from you guys. We replaced him with an even better suggestion. And then you'll see Shane Goss to spare starting a pair with Tim Horton because he has one more game before we have to lose him forever before the loan is up. And then we got Frank Mahovlich. A lot of commenters saying put him on D. He's fantastic. 90 defense is incredible for a left winger. So we're going to put him over here with Brent Burns and see how they do. Then we got Seth Jones and Zidane Chara. These guys are probably going to be back here for a couple more games, but I envision we're probably going to be replacing these guys for bigger and better players relatively soon. But that's the updated team. Wish us luck in our first game. Let's try to get a win. Oh my gosh, I love those jerseys. Evander Kane, Gretzky, Guy Lafleur on the first line. Hopefully this guy doesn't have the skill to back up his already studded team, but off the break. We're really killing it with the stick lefts. And they did a couple tuners to where stick lifts aren't as successful. Stay on top of them. This puck is bouncing everywhere right now. We have to be really clean with our passes. We'll let Tim Horton take this one out from the low side. Throw it up. Cornwoye, the roadrunner, skirts around. Oh, he gets pinched off. Oh, he's right there. One timer, Patrick Line. Yes! No, oh, I forgot to do his celebration. Patrick Line on his first shift. He has one of the coolest celebrations in the game. You tap triangle for anybody's custom celebration patrick line has one it's like the stick twirl and then he like holsters it just like a sword fantastic celebration we're gonna try and see if we can't get it here again before the game is over but one sip we're looking good off the break gets left throws it to burns gets left is open back to point point throw it backside oh my gosh brain point it's two zip we're still in the first three minutes of the game, and we are decimating this guy. He's got Bobrovsky in that. He's having a rough night. By the way, we still have Pecorina in that. A lot of you guys said keep him in there, but keep Billy Smith as a backup, as a contingency plan, just in case he doesn't work out, just in case he pulls a Jonathan Quick on us, and this things don't work out. So we're going to have him on there. So Pecorina is still in net for us now. Throw it up to Duchesne. Duchesne, squeeze in there. All right, we're right there. Back door again. He is leaving me wide open on his back door. Is that going to be a quit? Five. We're not even five minutes in. It's three zip. We've hit max rewards. And this is the last division. This is division eight. Once we get to division seven, the max reward goes to five pucks per game. Goes a little bit higher so we can get a couple more rewards. So the team can be nasty. I've, I've been in division six before in this game, and there are some sick teams. All right, Patrick Line is back out on the ice. Let's see if I can't get him a celebration goal. Because it's, it's pretty sick. You guys are going to want to see this. Line A, take it in. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Rip it short side. Oh, no. Off the crossbar. Are you kidding me? One timer. Yes. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Wicked silly. There you go. I love it that this guy has kind of a low skill. So I can sit here and try and plan out how I'm going to score with Patrick Line. It's four to nothing. 11 minutes left to go in the first period. This might be a record breaking game. Off the draw win again. Dry saddle. Up to Patrick Line. Can you go for the hat trick? Oh my gosh. All right. Good save. Good save. We're in the corner still. We're going to walk out. Oh my gosh. That's the hat trick. And there's another celebration by Patrick Line. Three goals. This guy's got to be quitting out here. I mean, that is just brutal. Six shots, five goals. Patrick Line getting the hat trick right now. Holy crap. Lost connection. That's the rage quit for you right there. So that's a 1,200 coin bonus. That is two points on the season, 1-0-0. Getting close to some sets, some milestones. Get some extra coinage here and there. Five goals. <laughs> Holy crap, Patrick Line just absolutely killing it. Getting three goals as our 5-0 with only like 10 minutes in the first period. That's nasty. Let's finish this game, get us some rewards. All right, so we're back after that domination that we just laid on that poor guy. Sorry about that, but Patrick Lanny's first game, he's going to get that hat trick in the first period. That is just silly that we did that. So we already have 700 points banked. We need 300 more, I believe. Let me just check the store real quick. So we can get there three different ways. A gold plus gives us 700. A silver plus gets us 400. And then a gold pack, gold common pack gets us 300 points. So those would give us enough to buy the middle evolution pack, which is what we want. So we're going to drop the first puck right here. Hope it stays towards the middle. That's a bronze plus pack. That doesn't help us at all. That's worth 100 points. Let's see if we can't stay towards the middle on this one. There we go. Heck yeah, man. That is a gold plus pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clear the board and drop this last and final puck right down the middle. Let's see if we can't get another gold plus pack. That would be sick. But that is actually going to be a silver plus pack. So what I want to do right now, since there are a lot of really good players out, I'm going to bank the silver plus pack. So that's going to be 400 points in addition to the 700 we have. 
that makes 1100 points so we're still gonna have 100 points left over after we open up this first one but what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that gold plus pack so that means for the rewards we get the gold plus pack we get a bronze plus pack we bank the silver plus pack value so that allows us to open up that middle evolution pack so we get three packs three great packs two great packs but let's go ahead and open those guys up right now all right here we go first things first the bronze plus pack then a gold plus pack and then the middle special pack the what is it wait what is it called the premium evolution pack that's what we're going to be opening up last here so we're going to kick it off with this first one the bronze plus pack number one four cards four players all of them crap <laughs> And then a gold plus pack, number two. We actually got this one, decided to bank the points from the silver plus pack that we gathered so we can still get over a thousand points, but let's go with this gold plus pack. There's a whole, so many good cards out right now. I think there's a Rob Blake out right now. There's a new set of Hunt alumni that have the limited edition release. They're only out for one week, so let's see if we can't capitalize. Ryan Getzlaff, picked him up last episode. He's still on the team, so we're gonna be able to sell his guy. Come on, Braden Holtby, not a bad goaltender, but that pack was halfway decent, but we still have one good pack left to go. All right, now this is the big kahuna that we've been waiting for. Here we go with the premium evolution pack. I've had relatively good luck with these, and somebody showed me this on Twitter, which I thought was kind of interesting. If you look at the pack probabilities of the mini, it says there's 0% chance and it doesn't even talk about being able to pull an evolution player. It's not until you get to this middle pack that shows you have a 1.5% chance of pulling an evolution player in it. Evolution collectibles are still about 30, 35,000 coins. We're probably not gonna get enough of these before this event ends to actually save up for an evolution player by a set. Probably just sell the collectible off if we can't pull one of these, but I'm just letting you guys know what we're expecting when we come into here. So there's 12 items, one rare player. We're gonna go through this thing very slowly because this might be the only evolution pack we get before we move on to the next series. So silver collectible ain't half bad. A couple gold commons. Those are worth like 2K a pop. Luke Robitaille, there we go go a nice left winger hut alumni uh, and anything else in the back and nothing too much but Luke Robitaille is a great great pull we're probably gonna throw him on the team because he's he's a sniper he's got hands not a bad card so after selling everything on the auction house we have 31,000 coins I mean those gold commons are expensive selling that silver collectible the bronze collectible help for about 7,000 coins total but unfortunately we have Tim Horton his contract has expired so we need to fill his spot we filled up Marcus Naslin's spot with Luke Robitaille we just pulled him in the pack and those are the only people we're gonna be adding but with 31,000 coins we're probably gonna go ahead and see if we can add a player I actually seem to remember us saying that we went ahead and we kept a right defense Defenseman to fill his spot when it was done. Adrian Coin will fill him for now. 86 defense isn't half bad, and maybe, just maybe, we need to get our offense just going a little bit faster. And the person I want to take out right now, Trevor Linden, we got to get rid of him. 81 skating. That's why we got him at the fourth line. Didn't even get to see him last game. Way too slow. We're going to go ahead and pick up a person from the auction house right now. So after looking at all the centers, there's a lot of good ones out there, but with 30,000 coins, we're limited to not the elite players, but still some really good players. And it's it's just a matter of time before each year where we finally decide to pick this guy up for the team. Patrice Bergeron is without a doubt one of the best centers in the game, and we need to pick him up. 17,000 coins is an absolute steal, and on the weekend when Evolution Packs are out right now, prices on cards are gonna go way way down I remember his card was like worth 30,000 a couple weeks ago so picking him up for 17k is awesome we still have 15,000 coins left to go and after our next game that we play and as we sell rewards we're gonna be asking you guys at the end of the episode exactly what we need to help the team out but for right now we went ahead and put in Patrice Bergeron in the lineup he's going first line Patrick Line, Yvonne Cornway that's a nasty line. That first line produced so many points just last game. We didn't even make it halfway through the first period. So Patrice Bergeron is definitely going to be helping us out on the team. Time to get into the second game, though. Let's hope for a result just like the last one. Are you kidding me? He just fleeced me on that one. Let's see what he's... Oh my gosh, Pecorino bit so hard. That was so stupid. I hate how the AI is so good at stick lifting. Don't worry, I know we're affiliated with EA, but we let them know the anger that is the stick lift from the AI. It's a thing, and we're we're constantly telling them that. Oh, here we go, short side. Oh my gosh, Bernie Pallant. Huge save on me. We gotta go aggressive, we gotta go full attack, three high, leave zone early, let's go. Come on, Burns. Burn it, Burns. Burn him. Get in there. One timer. That was who you passed. No way, that hit like all three posts. You're kidding me, dude. Come on guys, let's get on this attack. Fly down the ice, Robitaille. Shake it off. 
There's Burns to the point. Oh my gosh, the one-timer was straight into his chest. Come on. Oh, one-timer. Oh my gosh! Robitai still got it in there! I thought I was gonna get the punch back, but then I just hit up on the stick. You never know what's gonna happen. Robitai first game with the team gets it. Maybe that's a thing. The new guys on the team have to get hat tricks. We're gonna feed Robitai the puck because he's got the hot hand right now. He's getting those juicy rebounds and Howie Morins. No, not Howie Morins. Bernie Parent is letting in some squeakers. Oh come on, somebody get open for the one timer. Nobody? We have two guys at the left point. What are they doing up there? Marner is a freaking idiot. Come on, guys. He's stuck behind his net, poor guy. He's gonna let me walk in this whole way, isn't he? One timer. Oh my gosh, Carlson, you can't miss those, dude. Up, Bergeron. Come on, 10 seconds left. Fake him out, stall him, backside. Oh, gets a block on his defense. So that was a decent first period. We definitely did something stupid early and cost us greatly, but we tied the game up. We're definitely on the hunt now that we got the full power play going and we got all the attacks going. We're going full attack on these guys right now. Shots are seven to five, almost triple the time on attack. So I think we should be good to go for now, but let's let the second period decide that. Take PP1 face off. We're gonna get into the zone early here with Eric Carl. Not Eric Carlson. Adrian Coin just blasted on net. Oh my gosh. So close, we're gonna find the net eventually, up to the point. One-timer, Gossip Bear, where the heck are you going? One-timer, out in front. Oh, Robitaille got denied again. Going up, a coin down in front. Robitaille short side. Oh, trickles over the top of the net, back there again. Robitaille misses the net, come on, guys. Oh no, Ferrara in all alone. Holy crap, we finally got some luck going our way. Right off the post, cuts inside. One timer for Carlson. Oh no, dude, that's the second time. Carlson does not need to be taking these things. That's another Carlson one timer he just missed. Big check here. Gretzky, Mahovlich. Uh oh, he got burned. He got burned. But Pecorino was there for us. Carlson, what are you still doing out on the ice? Oh, there we go. The Roadrunner with the nasty snipe comes down the nice drop pass. He's sitting there trying to play man coverage, but when he gets all the way back in his net and then my guys right back behind it nobody's gonna cover him and the roadrunner gets the first goal of the game for himself second period we finally got the lead back let's go all right on the attack stall passes it up to the middle we got mitch marner we're turning on the heat we're going far side oh big big juicy rebound there he's throwing it up off the glass it's an interesting chat tactic we got big z coming oh no oh my gosh Pecorine! Oh, can they show me a replay of that? Oh my gosh, that was insane. How is that not a goal? I'm never gonna know, but Pecorine might just be my goalie for the year after that save. Holy crap, dudes. Oh, Patrick Line is an absolute monster. And he's in all alone. Do it, do it. Yes, baby! Here comes the Sally! <laughs> Patrick Laine has netted four goals for us in the very first episode. He's pulling an Austin Matthews right now. That's four goals in the first two games that we've picked him up for. And oh my gosh, he crunched two people, fought off the check, smashed the D guy, and got away from the three people chasing him and absolutely roofed it. I am so freaking hyped right now. And that was just after the Pecorine. Nasty save. Holy crap, guys. We are so lucky right now. And he's just let me block it with Burns. All the way up. Matt Duchesne, 91 speed coming in. Crisscross applesauce, Marner, oh, the one-timer. Oh my gosh, what a play. Dude, let's go. That is patience, that is tactical, that's tape to tape passing. That leads to the goal. That was a beautiful goal. We're already at max points right now. We're just racking up the score right now. Ooh, he left me wide open. We just missed the net. That's a tripping penalty. Let's go, we still got, that's a hooking penalty too. That's a third hooking penalty. Let's get to five on three. <laughs> Dude, talk about raging on the controller. Holy crap. We need, to, we need Ghost to have a goal. Oh, went in. Dude, right as I said that, the stupid trickles, the, the physics of this game, somehow winded up in the net, but that was Ghost to spare shot. Ghost got his goal. Patrick Liney's got his goal. The new guys are coming in. There it is. Bergeron, he gets his first of the game as well. All of these new guys getting everything they're getting in there they're lending their hand but then again that's what happens on the first line usually you get the goals six to one eight minutes left and just to think i was worried about this game 
Oh, I finally got one on me. But then again, I was going for huge hits. I'm not really concerned about this. If he hits four more goals in three minutes, I spay this bet, I'll do it again. I will quit YouTube. This will be the last video you will ever see from me if he actually pots four more in three minutes. I don't think it'll happen, but then again, you never know. Got to capitalize on the aggressiveness of the other team when they're down by four. At 7-2, that's the touchdown. 50 seconds left. Let's get another one. Over to Robitaille. Robitaille, short side. Gets snabbed by Parent out of the air. And that is going to do it right as time expires. That is the 7-2 victory. And the additions are really coming out and helping out. Bergeron got a goal. Robitaille got a goal. Line got a goal. Goss Despair got a goal. That's four people that we've added this episode that had a hand in it. And then you guys, you can't forget about the Patrick Line hat trick that happened at the end of the first game. So that is 2-0-0 on the season, making our way. Only three more wins before we have to go for that Division 8 title. We scored 50 goals. That's going to get us some nice extra coins. First start of the game is Patrice Bergeron. Glad I picked him up. Luke Robitaille also had himself a two-point night with the hit, but 30 to 21 were the shots, high shooting game, almost doubled the time on attack. Let's finish this game out, finish the episode. So I actually kind of like where our defense is at right now. What I don't like on offense is a couple of the weak centermen we have, Eric Stahl, Leon Dreisaitl. So I want to know some centers from you guys. I also think we have to get rid of Steve Shutt, even though he did score the last and final goal of the game we played previously. These guys are nice, but they're just a little slow, and I feel like that might hurt us later on in the higher divisions. But yeah, centers for now. Currently, we have 26,000 coins, about 27,000. After I do all the daily logins before we play the next episode, I might have around mid 30s as far as the coin balance goes. So let me know. Thinking it might be Claude Giroux because he's awesome. I've seen a lot of comments about him on recent episodes, but a great round of suggestions from you on the past episode. They really came out and immediately made an impact to the team. So thanks for your suggestions. Leave more suggestions in the comment section below. Thumb up the video for this one. Let's go for 300 likes on this video. That would blow me away. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. But thanks for watching this episode of the Puck Drop guys. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.